Earlier today, we finally got our first full look at the gameplay for Sonic Frontiers, and I, uh, have quite a bit to say about it. Hey everyone, Dplex or Dom here, and today we'll be talking about Sonic Frontiers, the new open world Sonic game set to be released holiday 2022. But before we get into that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this format as it helps me tremendously. Without further ado, on to the video. IGN earlier today released a full 7 minute gameplay showcase on the long awaited Sonic Frontiers. And it looks alright. It's nothing I would say is bad, but it definitely needs some polishing. The graphics are absolutely beautiful, which is always a plus, but aside from that, Sonic's movement seems to be fairly limiting. When it comes to a Sonic game, especially an open world game, I think movement and control are very important. And here we see the game seemingly references Sonic's base movement from forces, which is not a good idea. His physics in Sonic Forces were very jank and unnatural, and I don't think that would work in a vast open world like the one we see in Frontiers. One thing I noticed also is that some boost gameplay design philosophies were carried over, with dash panels spread throughout the world, which can also lead to unnecessary automation. It's an open world game. The last thing the player should be doing is being restricted to a set path and losing control of their character. Very odd choices here. Sonic Frontiers thus far looks to be quite boring, though honestly I'm chalking that up to what was shown being a bad showcase. There are specific moments where Mr. IGN guy would intentionally avoid enemies and set pieces, and he would just slowly walk around and run around and mash the boost button. Speaking of the boost, the mechanic seems to be altered this time around with the player being able to press the extra button for a short quick dash, kind of similar to how the boost mechanic worked in Unleashed for, for the Wii. I think the gameplay showcase could have shown way more in 7 minutes, like the newly revealed combat system or the rumored cyberspace levels. Maybe they could have shown some story beats, towns, more set pieces. Thankfully, it is confirmed that we'll be getting more coverage of the game all throughout June, and namely on June 9th at the Summer Games Fest, so I'll likely see what else Frontiers has to offer as the days go on. Though while this being a bad showcase video has something to do with how people are responding to this, the issues in this overall gameplay are still apparent. Personally, I still have faith for Frontiers. I think the concept of an open world Sonic game is genius and could be used to make a wonderful experience. We also know this game has the longest development cycle of any Sonic title, so Sega seems to actually be taking their time with this game. Despite my faith, I'm still trying to be critical of what I see. The fence is like, it was only 30 seconds of gameplay, aren't gonna work anymore. I did this exact same song at the end with Sonic Forces, and uh, look where that got me. What concerns me though is how people are already hating on a game that's coming out on holiday 2017, which is a whole goddamn year away. I mean, you guys are just judging on 40 seconds of gameplay that is about a game that we know nothing about. That sure aged well, didn't it? Overall, we'll be seeing more of this game showing off all throughout June. Opinions are surely to change for better or for worse. I want Sonic Frontiers to be a great game, and I know all of you do too. As for you, Sega, maybe a delay to 2023 wouldn't be such a bad idea. It still needs some time in the oven, and we want this game to be the best it can be. That's all for me though. Dplex out.